In this chapter, we are going to go over two important concepts in data communications, data and signal. We will first define these two types of signals and then compare their advantages and disadvantages. And finally, we will discuss how each of these two signals can be converted into the other form for data communications. The main objectives intended for this chapter include distinguish between data and signal and mention the advantages of digital data and signal over analog data and signal. Second is to identify the three basic components of a signal, amplitude, frequency, and phase, and discuss the bandwidth of a signal and how it relates to data transfer speed. And uh, we also want to outline how to transmit analog data using analog signals, digital data with digital signals, digital data with analog signals, and analog data using digital signals. Next is to list and draw diagrams of the basic digital encoding techniques and explain their advantages and disadvantages. And finally, we will cover different modulation techniques and describe their advantages disadvantages and uses. It's important to understand that the term data and signal do not mean the same thing. In order for a computer network to transmit data through wires or wireless waves, the data must be converted into an appropriate signal. So we can say data is a form of information that is produced and consumed by a computer. However, to transmit this data over communication lines, it has to be converted into a signal. Both data and signals come in analog and digital forms. Given that, four types of data to signal conversion are possible. Analog data to analog signal which involves amplitude and frequency modulation techniques like radio station that broadcast analog voice data using analog signals. AM and FM radio channels are examples of analog data to analog signal conversion. The next conversion type is the digital data to a square wave digital signal. It involves encoding techniques like transmitting digital data of computers using digital lines such as CAT5 cables in LANs. Next is digital data to analog signal, which involves modulation techniques such as sending computer produced data using a modem. And analog data to digital signal involves digitization techniques such as converting analog voice signals into digital using a microphone. Data are entities that convey meaning within a computer or computer system. Common examples of data include a computer file of names and addresses stored on a hard disk drive, or the bits or individual elements of a movie stored on a DVD, or binary ones and zeros of music stored on a CD or inside an iPod. Signals are the electric or electromagnetic impulses used to encode and transmit data. Common examples of signals include transmission of a telephone conversation over a telephone line, or a live TV interview from Europe that broadcast across the US through a satellite system. Analog is a continuous waveform such as human voice. One of the shortcomings of analog data and signals is that it is harder to separate noise from an analog signal than from a digital signal. Noise is an unwanted signal that distorts the data signal. Between two given points, there is an unlimited number of values uh, with analog signal. However, digital is a discrete waveform the digital signal can take on a fixed number of values between two given points. And one of the pros of using digital waveform rather than analog is the ease of separating noise from data signals. With digital signals, 
Noise suppression can be done through a filtering device.